Kitchen Within by Dean Jones. Dear power, dear ego, dear leader, dear boss, I'm writing to you to sympathise for your loss. I can't imagine how sad this news must have been to have lost one so special who brought so much to your team. They lit up the room, they ignited a spark, they lifted your business out of the dark. And for this to suddenly come to an end is so awfully sad, this loss of a friend. All of those lives they had touched with their skills, a positive force amongst all of life's ills. And yet, for some strange reason, you drove them away. Was it your insecurity or your ego at play that instead of embracing the asset you had, you squashed and repressed and behaved really bad? In the quest for an honour, or a royal reward, or a recommendation from the chair of the board. A peace prize, a medal, an MBE from the king. Praise from up high for doing your thing. You couldn't let anyone stand in your way from being the hero and having your day. No man is an island, no woman too. But you think that's the case. Your hero is you. A narcissist leader with one thing on their mind, to get recognition for being one of a kind. But kindness in you is only skin deep. To be truly authentic is too much of a leap. To emulate daddy and the success he has had. Feeds all that you are, turning all good deeds bad. I am the loss that your ego expelled. I am the sycamore tree that you felled. I am the ally that no longer exists, like many more like me, if your ego persists. I mourn all the losses that bad bosses create. It is your ego those like me would like to berate. If you are mindful and look deep inside, you will see there's a good child deep down inside who wishes that somehow they could hold on to their staff. But if you think I'll be staying, you're having a laugh. I want to work for a leader who cares, in a team always rising with the profits and shares. For a person with passion, for the people they lead, and the example they set and the culture they breed. To not just talk of well-being, but to embed it within the decision they make in all that ends and begins. These are the qualities of a really good boss, which brings me right back to your terrible loss. This is a reminder, something to do. Look after your people and they'll look after you. Don't bury their passion or squash who they are. Build up each individual and they'll help you go far. Have a word with your ego to rein itself in. Regards. Yours sincerely, resignation within.